Hi everyone and welcome to another installment in the Ruin Manufacturing instructional video series on shaft collars and couplings. Uh, my name is Bobby Watkins and in this segment we are going to be covering and reviewing coupling wind-up, coupling backlash, and how both of these affect your system performance and things to be considered in the design stage. Wind up is not backlash. Backlash refers to power transmission error. Wind up is position error without torque error. All couplings have wind up to some extent. Um, zero backlash means zero loss in power transmission. A couple of examples showing backlash and wind up. This particular coupling has backlash. This is error. As you can see, there is clearance between the spider and the hubs, and one rotation on this side does not equate to one rotation on the other. I'll show you. I'm turning this hub, turning, turning. Now I'm engaged. That first part of the revolution was lost. I'm not one-to-one. -one. That is a coupling that has backlash and will cause positioning error. This is a spring which I'm going to use to show an example of wind-up. So, again, a spring will wind up, but it retains the torque, goes back to its original position. Let's think of an example. We've got a linear actuator driven by a stepper or a servo motor system. One rotation of the servo motor translates into one rotation of your uh, ball screw input on your actuator. And let's just say that should translate into one inch of travel on your carriage. So, I have my system set up, but I have a coupling that has backlash. It has error. My servo motor turns one rotation, but because of the error, my ball screw input shaft has only turned 0.95 of a rotation. That would translate into my system believing I've traveled one inch on my carriage. I've actually only traveled 0.95 inches. There's your error. First, we'll go over the couplings that have error, have backlash. Um, you cannot use these in a system where positioning is important. This error is going to cause positioning error on a linear table. In a valve application, it's going to cause you to believe a valve may be open, and in reality it's partially closed. It's going to cause errors in systems where you need to maintain position. The advantages of this coupling are that because it has clearance, because it has error, it's easy to align, it's forgiving, and for general use, it's fine. Zero backlash. This is a jaw coupling that has zero backlash. It's a press fit on that spider. There is no error. The advantage is you can use this coupling in precision positioning applications like a linear slide, like a precision valve application, and you will not have error. Um, the disadvantage is, in some cases, the jaw coupling in particular, the alignment requirements, because there is no clearance, are a little more stringent, a little more difficult to align in most cases, versus a coupling that has clearance in it. Yes, uh, most of the couplings do lose their zero backlash ability over time. I'll show you a couple of examples. An Oldham coupling, which has a disc in the middle. And to accommodate misalignment, the disc is scuffling back and forth. It's moving. And it does wear over time. So over time, the disc tabs will wear down, and you will develop clearance. 
So, a maintenance program to replace the discs on an Oldham uh, is necessary. On a jaw coupling, the spider in the middle does lose its ability to rebound, to compress and rebound over time. So after extended use, it can develop clearance as the spider's ability to compress and rebound is lost. Thank you very much for joining us in this segment in the Ruland instructional video series. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in this segment or any application questions in general, please uh, find us at ruland.com.